to get down to the paint. Um, the kind of the defense collapsed a little bit, and I was able to find open window. Um, both side of my man I was able to knock it down. So um, I think that's what led to the success. But also, you know, our big man Pete, Mondo, uh, Pete, uh, Justin, uh, Jalen, they set great screens for me to cope with. So. How early in the game did you recognize you guys had the right mojo tonight? Uh, from the start. <laughs> Um, just in the locker room, just through the energy, everyone was ready uh, to go out there and just play. And just, you know, have fun out there, play aggressive, and we kind of just felt like we knew that everyone was locked in and ready to go. So from the start, we were walking into the locker room, we already knew. We spent the last couple of months not asking you guys about last year, and I know you guys didn't want to talk about last year, mm -hmm. but now that you're in the postseason, does it help? look back at last year and understand how to put these things together in the postseason because everything about it is different than the regular yeah. season. I mean, 100% of I mean, the you know, conversation about last year and this year. I mean, last year's last year. Um, but, I mean, I don't, you know, it was hard. I'm you know, not going to expect that you know, it's going to be an easy run um, and even this year. So, I feel like, you know, we kind of got control of that. But, you know, kind of trying to put you know, this past regular season behind us coming to uh, the ACC tournament, kind of like a, like a new record for us, new mindset for us, and uh, I think that that's the best idea we can look at right now. Yeah. Um, and it kind of gives us confidence uh, going into these games. Yeah, that's why we didn't ask for a while. <laughs> 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 My bad, I didn't mean to <clears throat> How much is this about a fresh start, getting rejuvenated? Like, it seems like you guys felt a little rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. That's the sense I can get from your voice, yeah. that this is a new season. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I just feel like, uh, you know, this whole year it's been a roller coaster. Uh, expectations, you kind of play with that weighted vest on us. Uh, I kind of feel like we just took that weighted vest off and kind of just cleared the regular season out. And, you know, coming into this tournament, we just want to take it one game at a time, not really going too fast forward into, you know, who we're playing next. Just one day at a time, one game at a time. And, you know, I feel like we have a, you know, a boost of energy. Um, I just felt it uh, around each other. Uh, it just we felt like we were out there having fun. So. What did you guys? What did you guys disconnect from the Duke game and get your mind on this side of the season? Where that's in the past you can't change it, but now you still have another opportunity. I mean, I don't think we disconnected. It was just more so watching the film and realizing that we're always in the games and just trying to see like what we did right, what we did wrong, and how can we improve on that going to the tournament. We were always right there. Um, I think what we missed, what we messed up is that is a, the little details. Um, just tighten up little screws and tighten up the details, being disciplined. Um, that's like the main thing for us, just being disciplined. Um, and I felt like you know, that's our mindset going into this tournament. Uh, so, um, yeah. What's your confidence level? That they, what's the team's confidence level that they can win, can win four games in four days? I mean, you know, we're confident in each other. We're not. Uh, I'm trying to say, oh, we like we gotta like focus on winning more games. This is more so just taking it day, game at a time. Um, we got UVA tomorrow, so we're gonna rest up, prepare for that, um, and then we're gonna play basketball tomorrow. RJ, I know that uh, I know that ending the lead. Like you guys were up 11 at home against Boston yeah. College. They came and cut it to one with six minutes left. What was the difference tonight in being able to expand on the lead that you built? Not coming out flat, just um, playing, you know, playing together. Uh, I think every time we kept, we gave us a timeout, we said we got the four minute mark, let's make a run, let's make a stretch, let's build off of this lead. And I think we did that, whereas I feel like sometimes we don't even have a big lead uh, going into halftime, and if we get too relaxed and come out flat in the second half, so I feel like we did a better job of doing that. Um, RJ, I know last year in New York was technically a homecoming for you. Were you surprised how much Carolina Blue there was at a conference tournament game today? No, nah, I'm not surprised at all. Um, you know, from my freshman year, even it was COVID, there was still fans here a little bit, it was still loud here. Yeah, but um, you know, you know, we're Carolina, you know, our fans, we're the best fan base in the world. You know, they're gonna support us wherever, um, whenever. So not surprised at all. Does it help you guys at all that you played Virginia and scouted them just a couple weeks ago? That you played them late in the year and kind of what you saw then is what they're gonna be tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're a good team. Let's kind of have, you know, like you said, kind of like fresh in our brain, um, like how they play. 
lot. So we just gotta, you know, dial in, you know, rest up tonight, uh, be mentally and physically locked in tomorrow, um, come ready to play you know, uh, the best basketball right now. How worried were you about Armando when he went down? Um, I didn't get to see the play. I don't know what happened, but you know, it's a tough case. So um, I know. Yeah. Thank you. Going back to CL's question about the leads that sometimes you guys have struggled with. They had an 11-2 run, cut it to 18. It's, they probably weren't going to finish the comeback, but they cut it to 18, put you guys in a position where maybe you could be a little bit stressed, but instead, you hit a pull-up jump on the right side, Caleb hit one on the left side. You guys had a little 6 nothing spurt. Whatever win they gave from that run was gone. I think at that point, the game was settled. What, 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 what do you recall from that stretch? And I, again, it's a, it's a large margin, but to show that you guys can respond to that, that point of the game where you've had trouble, uh, that's got to be pretty big move. I think uh, during that stretch, we kind of just gave them baskets. Um, I don't think it was like, uh, uh, like I said, we just gave them baskets, but then we were able to pick it up in the offensive end and make up for that. I uh, was able to hit shots, but then I, when I think they like, realized, like, we're trying to make a run, we, you know, we got stops when we needed. So uh, I think that, you know, the test of our maturity and uh, mentality in, in today's game. How much did it help that the margin enabled Hubert to put some subs in and you guys got a little extra rest since you got to play in 24 hours? Nah, it was good for me. I ain't gonna lie. So, like, I was, I was good. I was, got a little rest and I got to cheer my teammates and you know, I'd be happy for them. So, you know, just a little extra rest. And are, are you having to conserve a lot in between games? Say it again. Are you having to conserve in between games as well at this point? Because you guys, you've locked so many minutes this year. Yeah. And even if you have three days in between games, are you doing anything different to, to not use up any of the energy that you might need. I know that like some coaches cut down practice shorter uh -huh. later in the year. Are you doing anything personally? I mean, I think you know from the off season, I did a good job of like conditioning myself because I know that the time of season is going to be and just like large, heavy minutes and the amount of games. But also, I did a good job of you know my recovery. Um, you know, push myself to you know, do like little extra things that will help me have a lot of energy going to the game. So um, I've been, you know, pretty mindful of, you know, like, concerning my energy because I know we have you know, back to back games. So, um, and, you know, the coaching staff, and, you know, Doug and Jones, uh, doing a great job of making sure I'm good too. So. You and 